so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi! And today we're at the Bellevue, Washington Fire Station. And today we're going to learn about fire trucks, ambulances, and the fire station. Look at what it is. This is a big red fire truck. Whoa, come check it out. Ooh. Wow, look at all these gauges. Huh, so interesting. Hey, look. It's a compartment with a lot of cool things in it. All right, let's go look at the fire station. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> all right, check out in here. So, it's really important for firefighters to stay nice and fit. Like over here, these weights. These are bicep curls, and they make your arms nice and strong. It's really important for firefighters to stay in shape, because when they go in houses that are burning, they might need to carry someone down the stairs or up the stairs, and then down the ladder. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Whoa, medicine balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love exercising. Hey, some jump ropes. Have you ever jumped rope before? Check this out. See, every time I jump, the rope goes underneath my feet one time. And now, I'm going to make it go, oh, <laughs> I messed up. I'm going to make it go under my feet two times every time. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Woo, that's tiring. <sighs> Being physically fit is really fun. All right, this is a treadmill. It's where you can walk and then be in one place. See? And you can also run. Whoa, here I go. It's getting faster and faster. Whoa. Now I just went really fast. All right, hit the tunes. <sighs> That's fun. Oh, hey, pull-ups. Woo! Now, last but not least, the bench press. This is a great way to keep your upper body nice and fit. So then, like I said, firefighters can help people and they're nice and strong. Yeah! All right, now let me show you the rest of the fire station. Come on. Woo! Check this out. Whoa. <laughs> so, not only do firefighters eat healthy and exercise at the fire stations, they also have to sleep because firefighters are here day and night. And just like you and I, firefighters need to sleep. And the reason why firefighters have a bed at the fire station is because they need to be really close to the fire trucks and ambulances just in case if there's an emergency. So, nighty night! Oh, wait a second! No time for sleeping now. I want to show you an ambulance. Let's go! Ooh, look at what it is. It's a medic unit, also known as an ambulance. Let's go check it out, come on. Let's look inside the cab. Whoa, 
now we're inside the ambulance. All right, let's shut the door. First things first, safety first. Let's put on our seat belt. All right, here it is. <laughs> All right, now we're ready. Whoa, what's this? It looks like a giant map. Whoa, you can use this so then you can see where you're gonna go. Um, right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, a computer? Whoa. This tells you where you're gonna go, like the address, the information, all about the call that you're doing. Oh, hey, look, a steering wheel. <laughs> that was the horn. Hey, move. We're going to help some people. Whoa. Whoa. What are these? These are headsets. Listen. Hello, hello. It's Medic Flippy. Do you need help? All right. We're going to come help you. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa. Check this out down here. The siren. Listen. <laughs> If you ever hear that and you're in a vehicle or on the sidewalk, get to the side because the ambulance is going to help someone. All right, and this right here turns on all of the lights. Go check them out. Whoa, the lights are so bright. Oh, check out this compartment. I wonder what's inside. Oh, hey. <laughs> this right here is a heart rate monitor. It gives all the medics the information about your heart. And this, this, yeah, is a medical unit pack. Whoa, there's so many interesting things in here. Whoa, hey, like a stethoscope. hear my heartbeat. Wow, that is so interesting. All right, let's lock this back up and go check out what else is around here. Ooh, whoa, another compartment. This is where all the firefighter gear is. See, here's some jackets. Oh, hey, and here's even a helmet that they wear when they go into areas with fires. Hey, do you know another time that you should wear a helmet? when you ride a bicycle. <laughs> All right. Oh, the back of the ambulance. Oh, get ready. Whoa. Look at this. This is the stretcher. Watch out, here it comes. This is what you might get a lay on sometime. And if you do, just be very calm. The people are trying to help you. All right, let's leave this right here. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's go inside the back of the ambulance. Let's go. Oh, here we are. This is another entrance. Come on. Whoa, it's so bright and light in here. Wow, very interesting. Oh, hey, look at what it is. It's another stethoscope. <laughs> Put it on my ears. Listen. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's my heart beating. I'm nice and healthy. <laughs> All right. Put that right there. What else is around here? Oh, hey, look. Rubber gloves. I'll put one of these on. Oh. All right, these keep my hands nice and clean. 
when I'm working in the back of the ambulance. Hey, what color is this? Yeah, it's the color blue. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at this. Ew. Do you see this? That's Mr. Yuck. And if you ever see Mr. Yuck somewhere, do not eat it. Don't drink it. And we should probably stay away. <laughs> Let's look in another cupboard. Hey, like this one. Wow, that's interesting. A lot of medications and things to help people if you're in trouble. Hey, just know, if you ever need to ride in an ambulance, be careful, be nice and calm because the people in here are just trying to help you. Well, let's go have some more fun. Whoa, what is that? That looks like a hospital on wheels. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little it's a vehicle that can transport people who are sick or hurt to the nearest hospital with a medical team that rides around always ready for people who need help it's now. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital on it's wheels. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital on wheels. You can call it up. Emergencies. The siren turns on and it races to the sea. Some are yellow and green, some red, white, or blue. But they're all here to help me and you. So many neat things in an ambulance, like oxygen tanks and first aid kits. There's a stretcher in the back, the patient lays on. They've got bandages and medicine and a siren on top that goes. When the siren turns on, all the cars move it's out of the ambulance. way. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital on it's wheels. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital on wheels. And remember, boys and girls, only call an ambulance in a real emergency. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. Now let me show you one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, yeah, this is the kitchen. And this is a fridge <laughs> with a lot of food in it. Here's another one. Wow, firefighters work really long days and nights. And so they have to have a kitchen so they can eat and stay nice and healthy. Oh, hey, look, here's some food. Ooh, this looks tasty. We have some salad, a potato, we even have some chips, oh, and a strawberry. Yum! So what we're doing now is we're just getting ready for a training exercise. Yeah, we're doing really good. What's that? Yeah, I see lights, I hear a siren. That must mean that there's a fire. We gotta go help some people. Let's go, come on. Oh, do you hear that? That's the sirens and the lights. We need to get all of our fire equipment on. Okay, first, our pants and the boots. We need to take off our shoes. One shoe. Two shoes. All right, I need to hurry. All right, there we go. Got my boots on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Put on my pants. Nice, nice and buckled. Put on my suspenders over my orange suspenders. All right, tight, tighten that up. Oh. All right, Ooh, my jacket. Mm -hmm. Put this on. All of this will keep me safe when I'm at the fire. Right, here we go. We need to zip it up. Ooh. Here's the zipper. Put it in there like that. There we go. Velcro. 
Okay, uh, then we have the helmet. This will keep my head safe. Perfect. Tighten it up. And then, last but not least, my two gloves. Mm -hmm. All right. Man, I got ready really quick because I don't know what's happening there. All right, let's go. something else really cool to show you. First, I need to take off my helmet. Let's put that right up there. The next thing I have to do is put on a mask. This goes all around my head to keep my ear and my hair safe. <laughs> all right. Woo, all right, check out my sweet hood. <laughs> yeah, this is the color black. All right. The next piece of equipment I'm gonna put on is this mask. This mask is gonna help protect my eyes and then be able to deliver clean oxygen so I can breathe in the smoke. Are you ready? Ooh, look at me now. I have my mask on. Hey, if there's a firefighter trying to help you, they might look like this. But that's okay, they're not scary. They're just trying to help you. Okay, let me put on my helmet now. There we go. Now that it's nice and snug, <laughs> I'm gonna put on the air tank. Ooh, yeah. Look, it's an air tank. This is what provides air to me. Just like Now I can breathe when I'm going through a burning house. Do you hear that? So what that is, is air coming from the tank, going through the tube into my mouth. So then smoke doesn't come inside. All right, let's go check out some more of the fire station. Woo! All right, now let me show you some of the parts of the fire truck. Whoa, look at this. This is a really big wheel and tire. Whoa, it's silver and black. <laughs> okay, let me show you inside the fire truck. Check it out. Oh, that's 
really neat in there. They look like they're ready to go to a fire. <laughs> oh, look at this. Whoa, there are so many gauges. Huh, interesting. There's so many, I don't even know what they're for. <laughs> Ooh, look at in here. Whoa, one compartment. Another compartment? And this compartment has fire extinguishers. Let's count them. One, two, three. Good job, come on. Interesting, more things. Like a little broom. It's nice and clean. Let's go to the back. Where are you going? Come over here. Do you see those? There's so many different sizes of hoses. Oh, interesting. All right, what else do we have? Hey, here's a compartment. Whoa, look in there. Whee! This is a really big ladder. So then the firefighters can go up really high and save people off of roofs and windows. I'll lock it back up. There we go. Ooh, what's in here? Huh, hey. Yeah, a chainsaw. So much great equipment on a fire truck. Hey, another compartment. Hey, bolt cutters, an axe. Wow, even look. Yeah, even <laughs> a hammer. All right, I'll just set that right there. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This is where you connect the fire hydrant to the fire truck. And let me show you. Have you ever wondered what this thing is at a fire station? Yeah. This is what connects to the fire engine's exhaust. So then, no smoke from the fire truck goes inside. Yeah. All right. That was awesome. Ooh. <laughs> that was so much fun learning about fire engines. Medic units, <laughs> ambulances, and the life of a firefighter at the fire station. Hey, it's really important to know what number to call if there's an emergency. So be sure to ask a grown up what number to call if there is an emergency, like a fire. Hey, it's also really important to have a working smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. So then if there's ever a problem, it will chirp like this. Yeah, and then you can call the emergency number. So then you'll get some help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, good job. See you soon, bye-bye! So much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Flippy! Hello! It's me, Flippy! And today, I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington! Whoa, look at this place! Whoa, it's so cool! Yeah, we're in the back. Yeah, this is called a kitchen! Oh, and look at what it is! Wow! Look at it! <laughs> wow! This is an apron. Ooh, check it out! Look at those flowers! Yeah! This apron is going to help keep me nice and clean when I bake! Yep, I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep, and now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet! I am so excited! <laughs> Let's go! Wow, look at this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. 
yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon. Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Yeah, a spatula. Boing. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, let's set it right there for now. Whoa, looks like we have some vinegar. Yum. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, come on. Whoa, a giant sink. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> this is where I clean a lot of dishes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of cleaning dishes. Whoa, hello! Look, this is a dishwasher. You put a lot of dirty dishes right here, and then you close it down. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Woohoo! Whoa, check it out. This is a stove top. Whoa, you can cook so much food right here. Whoa, there's so many stove tops. Whoa, do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> sweet treats. Wow, these are macarons and they look so yummy. Look at this one. This one is the color red. Whoa, looks like we have some green and some blue and some orange. Whoa, look, I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Ah. Oh. I'll eat these later. <laughs> Whoa, we have some black sesame cookies. Yum! Woo! And some ube cookies. Yum! Check these out. Open these up. Wow, what color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That, yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> oh, look at these cute things. Looks like, what animal is that? Yeah. Moo, moo. Yeah, a cow. Ooh, a vanilla cake. Yeah, blippy party cake. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy. Yeah. And a triple chocolate cake. That looks so yummy. Well, hey, maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this. Yeah. How about today we make some macarons? Yeah. Whoa, check it out. I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Wow, They're nice and clean now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow. And now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the baker for Fanny Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well what do we have here? Well first we have eggs, and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. And when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And 
You said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay, woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> all right, first, let's uh, add the salt. Perfect. And then we'll add the sugar. And then the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and large. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna go put it in the mixer. Yeah! Whoa! Hey, check it out! This is a massive mixing machine! Whoa! Look how big it is! There's a giant whisk right here. Wow! Looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. All right, here we go. Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. Whoa. <laughs> all right, now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go, and now, we need to turn this to the on position. There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, two, one. Yeah! Look at it mix. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the batter is finished. Whoa, this is a big bowl. Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah, what shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah, it looks like a triangle. Perfect. And do you see how you open it up? Yeah, and that's where you put all the batter. But hey, check it out. Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. Woohoohoo! <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? Well, first we need to cut the bag. Okay. 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 And we're going to make some cow macarons. Ooh! To do that, first, you're going to need one big circle. Okay. We're gonna make cow macarons. And we need a big circle for, is that the head? That's gonna be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. That is not how I want <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then, one ear, two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. Yeah! So much fun! <laughs> yeah, now that we're done, why don't you throw them into the oven for 20 minutes and I'll get the buttercream ready. Okay. All right, so I need to throw these in the oven for 
20 minutes? Whoa! All right, so I'm gonna put on these safety gloves. All right. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Wow. I used my safety gloves because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time to wait. But wait a second, you know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah, I like to dance, woohoo! means that they're probably done. <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macarons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Woo! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate. Looks like so much fun. Hey, can I try? Sure, Flippy. You want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see. What are we making? Oh yeah. Remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow. A cute cow. Moo. Yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like I'll do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. We put it on the ears, and it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh oh, I put a little too much, but that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? No! No! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, check it out! Yeah, a blippy party cake. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macrons. Yum, they're so tasty. What is this though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macron bow tie. And it looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, well hey, check this out. I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a flippy macron that's empty, no colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there, do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa, that doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, 
You can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! Check it out. Whoa. Yum. Doesn't that look tasty? Yum. And hey, watch this. I'm going to do another big blob. Yeah, a blue. Oh, I will just finish that all the way across there. And then I'll put some orange on top of that. Wow. Now, does that look tasty? Or does that look tasty? Yum! <laughs> These are so tasty! Whoa! That has been so much fun making all these sweet treats with you, hasn't it? Yeah! I want to give a special thanks to Jennifer at Peony Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Wow, she did such a good job and they are so yummy! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> so much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Flippy. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And I can't wait to see what's inside and start playing. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Look where we're at! The Sandy Shack! <laughs> yeah! It's a really big sandbox, and you and I get to go inside. <laughs> but first, we gotta take off our shoes. One, two. <laughs> Put these to the side and we can go inside. Don't forget your bucket. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's so cool in here. It's really sandy. There's so much sand here and it's a good thing we have our pail and shovels. Yeah, we have two blue shovels. We can pick up sand. And we have one, two, three different pails. Yeah, this one is the color yellow. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color red. <laughs> yeah, these are really helpful for scooping sand up. Whoa, and making a sand castle. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> uh oh, it looked like our sand castle didn't stand up, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're trying to make something, it doesn't work on the first time, so you gotta just keep trying. <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty cool. Whoa, but do you see these animals? Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? It's kind of hiding in the sand. <laughs> yeah, this animal is a crab. <laughs> He's feeling a little crabby. <laughs> so silly. Well, this crab is really cool. Hey. You know how crabs like to move? Uh-huh. Yeah, they don't like to walk like us. They like to go side to side. Hey, will you act like a crab with me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's do a crab walk. Whoa! <laughs> Moving side to side like a crab is so much fun. <laughs> yeah. But look at this. There's another animal. Whoa. This animal is really big and likes to live on beaches, just like a crab, in the sand. This, yeah, this guy, he's a sea turtle. Whoa, and look how big his shell is. Whoa, it's bigger than my head. Whoa, this is so much fun playing in the sand. Woo, woo, woo. Maybe we can make a sand angel. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing in the sand with you. Whew. Gotta dust myself off because I'm pretty sandy now. <laughs> Let's go keep exploring. But first, we gotta put our shoes on. Now that we have our shoes on, all we have to do is tie them. Yeah, do you know how to tie your shoes? Yeah, they can be really, really hard tying your shoes. 
but this is how I like to tie them. So I take my laces, and first I cross them over, and I take one of the laces, and I put it through the center. Yeah, like that. And I pull it tight. Once I've done the first step, then I take the laces, and I make cute little bunny ears. Yeah, just like this. You see my two little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. And then I take the bunny ears and they give each other a little hug. They wrap around and then I pull that tight too. Okay, this time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, we take our laces, we cross them, and then one lace goes under. Then one bunny ear, two bunny ears. Woo! <laughs> and we cross them. We then wrap that one through, they give it a little hug, and we pull it tight. Whoa, look at that, we tied our shoes. And sometimes I like to do it again to double knot my shoes because I like to dance and I like to run and play. And you don't wanna play or dance when your shoes are untied, because then you might trip on your shoelace. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> well, there's so much more to explore, come on. There are so many cool things here. <laughs> Look at this really big circle. Hello. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this over here. There are so many cubes. <laughs> Whoa. There are so many different colors on these cubes. Look. We have the color white and the color red and the color purple, and the color blue. <gasps> Wait a minute, if I turn it this way, my two favorite colors, blue and orange. Hey, and look over here. There's like a little diorama playset, and there's all kinds of cool animals, like a little piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Woo, he's gonna walk on the bridge. Whoa, and look, there are two sheep, yeah. One, two. And you know what sound sheep make? Yeah, they go like this. Bah, bah. <laughs> and they're also gonna be on the bridge because they're friends with Mr. Piggy. Okay, right there. Whoa, and look at this. There are three animals here. One, two, three. Do you know what kind of animals these are? Yeah, they're little lambs and they're so cute and tiny. Ooh. <laughs> They're gonna hang out near the bridge too. Whoa, and look at this. There are four really big cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. Whoa, four really big cows. <laughs> and they're gonna go, they're gonna go in the water. They're taking a little bath because it's really warm out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. <laughs> <Bleh>. <laughs> so silly. That was really fun, playing with all those foam cubes and seeing about those animals. Hey, look over here. Whoa. And look at this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah, this is called an abacus. Mm -hmm. And it's really good for helping do math or arithmetic. Mm hmm look, you can do it like this. One yellow lemon plus one yellow lemon. Hmm, how many lemons does that make? Yeah, two lemons. Okay, that was pretty easy. But now you can do an even harder one. What about two apples plus three apples? Whoa, that's a lot harder. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, Five. Whoa! Two plus three apples is five apples! Whoa! Yeah, abacus is really helpful for counting and math. These are really, really big. There's a watermelon and a pumpkin. <laughs> and the pumpkin's my favorite color, orange. Hmm, I wonder what these are. Whoa! This isn't a watermelon, it's a watermelon drum. Well, that means that the pumpkin's a drum too. Whoa, <laughs> this 
sounded really cool. Whoa. Those are awesome fruit drums. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at this over here. Whoa, look at all these different fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we have lettuce, onion, corn, potato, carrot, whoa, and tomato. Those are so many different kinds. Now, what we can do is play a really fun game where we take all the foods in this basket and we have to match them to the right word. So first, we got some onions. So let's see, one onion, two onion. <laughs> yeah, we got it, that was pretty easy. Next, we got two red tomatoes. Ooh, hmm, where should the red tomatoes go? Here? Hmm, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right, we'll put them right over here. Okay, here we go, one, two. Okay, we got a couple more. Whoa, what about this? Wow, there's a lot of things here. Wait a minute, where should we put this lettuce? It says lettuce here, but there are four parts and only two holes. Wait a minute, these are halves. So, if you take one half and another half, and you put them together, you get one whole. One whole head of lettuce. <laughs> and we have two over here, so one half and one half, one half and one half, two whole heads of lettuce. We'll put them in the holes. One, two. <laughs> and we have two heads of corn. Whoa, and look at this. We have some yummy carrots. <laughs> I love carrots. And so do a lot of animals, like rabbits and horses. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears with my carrots. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, we'll put two carrots, one carrot, and Two carrots. Hmm, what's left? Oh yeah, a potato! Whoa, look, we got one potato right here, and we have another potato right, wait a minute, is this a potato? <laughs> that's not a potato, that's a donut, so silly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put it in the potato because we only have one potato, but this is not a potato. <laughs> Whoa! We did a really good job matching all the fruit together. Well, there's so much more to explore. Come on. <laughs> hey, whoa, I just came out of this really awesome tree house. Hey, let's explore it a little. Whoa, look at it. This is so big. This tree is enormous. Yeah, look, it's so big that they built a house under the tree, or in the tree, and a house above the tree. Whoa! This is such a cool tree house. I think you and I should go up in it. Come on! Whoa! Look at this place. It's so amazing. And look at this. This isn't any tree house. This is Longo's Cove. And look at this. This is a pirate ship. Whoa! Someone put this big pirate ship up in the tree. Hello, pirates. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited. Let's climb up. But I have a really good idea. How about you and I count all the steps on our way up? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's some more over here. Eight, nine, 10. 11, whoa, 12. We made it up all the stairs. And it was 12, that was a lot. Whoa, check this out. You know what this is right here? Yeah, this is called a spyglass. And this will help us see really far away. Whoa, I can see so far from here. <laughs> and hey, look at this. Can you find these birds? Yeah. There's all different birds over on the wall and hiding in all different places. And we can use the spyglass to see if we can find them. Okay, we want to find an osprey, a roseate spoonbill, a brown pelican, blue herons, sandwich terns, and anhingas. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool bird. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, I'm looking. 
Whoa, I think I found the Anhinga. He's right over there. Whoa, and I see a blue heron. <laughs> hey, right up against the blue wall. And, yeah, look, there's the sandwich turn. Whoa, that was amazing. Looking for all those different birds. Hey, do you know where all those birds like to live? <laughs> yeah, they live in a place called an estuary. Whoa, estuary is a really fancy word, but it basically means where the ocean meets a river. Woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a fun game. Do you think that an estuary has salty water or fresh water without any salt? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're all right, because it's both salty and fresh. It's kind of, kind of salty. <laughs> yeah, and we call that brackish water. Whoa, that's another big word. <laughs> but it's amazing, because all these cool birds and some really cool fish like to live there. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this treehouse is pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Do you see above me? Whoa, it's a captain's wheel. Whoa, I bet this came from the pirate ship. Whoa, that is so cool. I wish we could ride a real pirate ship into the ocean. Whoa, hey. It looks like there's a lot of types of trash in this treehouse. Huh, yeah, and it says over here, don't pollute. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of recycling? Yeah, it's really good because recycling helps to take care of the animals that live in the ocean and on land. <laughs> yeah, if you ever have trash, make sure it goes in the recycling bin or a trash can and not in the water. Mm -mm. <laughs> Well, this treehouse is pretty cool, but I'm gonna see if I can go climb up to the top. I'll see you soon. Whoa! That was so much fun, <laughs> but I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, I have a really fun idea. How about you and I go up to the pirate ship in Longo's Cove and ride the big yellow slide? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like we've been here before. Okay, we went that way, so now let's go this way. <laughs> This is so cool. Look at this place. <laughs> this treehouse is kind of spooky. Ooh. <laughs> well, I had so much fun with you today exploring the Sandy Shack and Longo's Cove. <laughs> it was so much fun. And now for the very best part, we go down the big yellow slide. Okay, I think I'm ready. On your mark, get set, and go, Blippi. Bye-bye! Whoa! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> wow, I had a really great time playing with you today here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we had a really fun time playing in the sand in the sandy shack and climbing all the way to the top of Longo's Cove. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> so much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi. What's behind me? Whoa, a blue and yellow airplane.
airplane! Yeah! Did you see how I was acting like an airplane? I sure do love airplanes. But hey, today I'm at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. And today you and I are gonna learn about airplanes. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Blippi Airlines. Where are you heading today? Wow, that sounds like a great destination. Is it for business or pleasure? <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, let's see. You are all checked in. Do you have a bag? <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's put the bag on the scale. All right, looks like you're within the limitation. So let me put this on the conveyor belt. Okay, <laughs> well, have a great flight. But wait a second, that sounds like so much fun. Do you mind if I come? <laughs> Perfect, all right, <laughs> there we go. Now I have a ticket too. Okay, let me come around. <laughs> I am so excited for our trip together. <laughs> hey, we have to go through security, all right? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, that means I must have something I shouldn't have on me. Oh, I know what it is. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect, let's go. Wow, look at the airplane. Whoa, look at the fuselage, the cabin, and look at the tail up there. Whoa, this is gonna be such a fun flight. All right, let me put your bag down right here. There you go, bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, a fuel truck. Whoa, check it out. Fuel. <laughs> All right, let's grab the hose and let's make sure that the airplane has a lot of fuel. Here we go, let's connect it. Oh, perfect, it's full. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the aircraft has a lot of fuel, now we can buckle up. Okay, first let's put on our seatbelt. There we go. Okay, now we'll listen for instructions for the flight. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Blippi Airlines. Please mind the aisles and be sure to find the nearest emergency exit. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure it's nice and tight. And in case you need an air mask, it will come down from above. All right, now that we got the safety briefing and passengers are seated, now I think I should fly the airplane. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Wow, so many cool gauges and instruments. Whoa, all right, here we go. Check it out. See this airplane? It's so big. Yeah. I am way smaller than this airplane. And do you see what these are? Yeah. These are called wings. Most airplanes have two wings that go from the side, but not all of them. <laughs> Some have more. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this. See, the main body of the airplane is called the fuselage. Wow. This airplane is actually used to put people inside and transport them from one location to the other location. Just like, say, a car or a boat or a bicycle, but way quicker. But hey, remember how I said this airplane is so big? Here, come follow me and I have another airplane for you. And it is not very big. Remember how I said that plane is really big? Check this one out. Whoa, yeah, this plane is small. <laughs> well, it's smaller compared to that plane, but I'm sure there's smaller airplanes than that one. But hey, what colors do you see on it? Yeah, red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> Oh, and what shape is that? Oh, yeah, that looks like a star. 
Whoa! This plane looks like it goes so fast! Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! This engine actually goes to an aircraft! Yeah, but there's no outside casing around it. Whoa, it is so big! Look how big it is compared to me! And do you see everything in there? There's so many hoses and tubes and... Oh, geez. So the air goes in right here, gets compressed, fire, and then BOOM! Whoa! These tires are so big! And there's actually two tires right there. Yeah, we're at the front of the aircraft. So let's head to the back of the aircraft and see how many tires are back here. Whoa, do you see them? Wow, there's so many more tires back here. Wow, this plane must be really heavy. Yeah, that's probably why they have so many tires. Whoa, and look how big this wing is. If it was raining, I definitely would not get wet. <laughs> Check out this airplane. It looks like it goes really fast. Hey, what color of airplane is it? Yeah, you're right. It's blue with a little bit of yellow. <laughs> Good job. Whoa, look at how big that airplane is. Whoa, do you see the colors of it? Yeah, it's white, red, and gray. Let's go find some more colors. Whoa, look at this airplane. Do you see something different with it? Yeah, there's two wings over here and there's two on the other side. Yeah, so it has two sets of wings. That's really cool. But hey, we're here to learn the color of it. <laughs> what color is this airplane? Yeah, you're right. You said green! Good job! <laughs> All the people, they look like ants when we're up with the birds the airplane, the wings keep us gliding, we're on top of the world. So hear that worrying engine and look out on the wing, we're gonna fly, 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 till we can touch the sky, and we're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, 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 we're going way up high, on the airplane in the sky. Gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. We're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky. We're going to fly. with you today at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> do you like airplanes? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how high they fly in the sky. 
and how they're small airplanes and big airplanes. Wow. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye bye. Beep!